Hi everyone, I am ready to do another Panda palette for, for the year of 2020 and this time I am joining the Pantastic Ladies and I'm going to do the Panning Solitaire. So if I got this right, this was very hard for me to understand the, the rules, but I think from what I understand you're supposed to choose first a single to finish a duo to finish, um, a trio to finish, a quad, a quint, and so on for as much as you think you can pan. Um, you can work on them simultaneously but you they won't co count until you finish the first one and then the two second ones and you have to do them in order. So. <laughs> Those are the rules, I think. So I'm going to show you what I've chosen for this project. Um, the first eyeshadow that I've chosen it was in my last uh, project pan. And it is the Isadora Eye Focus in Bare. So it's just a very boring color, but it's, it's a color I always use um, before I start doing an eyeshadow uh, look. Uh, I also use it to blend out other colors and it's just something that's always a part of my makeup. Um, so, and I really want to get this out of my collection. It's a great eyeshadow but I'm getting so sick of it. So this is the first one that I want to pan. And as you could see, as you can see, I have come a far, uh, a long way. So there really isn't that much left, but it's very tightly packed, and it lasts forever. So that that was the first one, and then I am um, including a big or a bigger palette. It looks really big, but there's really not many colors in here. It's the Real Techniques by Sam and Nick Chapman. Chapman? Chapman. The Modern Natural Makeup Kit. And this came out a while back. And it came out, it, there was two versions. So I got this one. It has two lip colors that is expired a long time ago. This liquid highlighter is dried up and the eyeliner is dried up. So basically I have left four um, eyeshadows and then this blush that I'm also going to work on maybe in another project. We'll see. I, I'm going to figure that out later. But yeah, so these are the four eyeshadows I'm going to work on. So this, this being my first one, then these two in the middle will be my my duo. Um, so this is like a, a gold shade kind of and this is a, a matte brown. I'm going to show you what they look like. They're pretty dark. They're kind of dark but yeah. I, I'm imagining this one will be used in the crease and this one on the lid maybe. Yeah. And then, then for my trio, I'm going to include these other two, the lighter shade, which is, has a little bit of a shimmer as well, and this more taupey purple. That looks like that. So I'm imagining this either on the lid or as an inner corner highlight or maybe even as a face highlight as well. And this will be just to maybe darken the look a little bit, um, just using it on the outer V. And as my third eyeshadow in that trio, I am going to include the Makeup Store Micro Shadow in Ruby. And this is, I have barely touched it, but it's such a beautiful color, especially in the summertime. And now I've gotten a few new eyeshadows. Um, and 
I now have several orange coral shades, so I need to get this oldest one out of the way. And this is kind of big, so hopefully I will manage to use it up. If, I don't think it will happen, but if I, if I finish all of those shades that I just showed you, I am going to include the, the Balm California, or maybe Auto Balm eyeshadow palette. Yes. This is a tiny little, very cute eyeshadow palette that has a mirror and then it has, well you can use it for several things. It says blush shadow, highlighter sh eyeshadow, brow crease, and then lid liner. So it has a coral shade, a pink shimmer shade, a matte brown, and then a dark brown with some glitter particles in it. And this is what it looks like. So no real dents in any of these eyeshadows except from the nude one. But hopefully you will see some dents by my next update. And probably as I did last year, I won't give you guys an update like every month or so. I just, I don't think I will be able to do that. But I'm going to try to give you an update maybe every season or so. So my next update will probably probably be around May, April, May. Yeah, I'm guessing. So I hope you will join me on this journey. Maybe you can do your own Pan That Palette project, either this Panning Solitaire. You can join the... Um, fantastic ladies. They have their own Facebook site. They have so many different um, panning projects that you can join. And I'll see if I can like link the, the sheet where you can see all of the participants in this particular project. So thank you so much for watching and I see you next time. Bye!